Hello everyone. We all are aware that the coronavirus pandemic has led to a major health crisis all over the world. Over the course of this pandemic, there have been various twists and turns in terms of its diagnosis, signs and symptoms, management and complications. To make matters worse, numerous post-COVID issues have also been reported. One of which is an unforgiving fungal infection, mucormycosis. Any delay in treatment of this infection may prove fatal to the patient. As dental surgeons, it is imperative for us to be aware of the disease presentation, its warning signs and risk factors. As patients may report to us, especially when it involves the oral cavity or the jaw bones, and the patients may think that the pain or swelling is of dental origin. Early identification of mucormycosis is crucial for optimal treatment and better prognosis. This is a short video made with the intention of making people aware about this deadly disease. First of all, what is mucormycosis? Mucormycosis is a serious but rare fungal infection caused by a group of molds called mucormycetes. These molds live throughout the environment. It is mainly reported in patients with immunocompromised conditions such as uncontrolled diabetes and leukemias. Recently, numerous cases of mucormycosis have also been reported in patients recovering from COVID-19. Since the COVID-19 outbreak, there has been an alarming rise in the number of cases of mucormycosis, a majority of which have occurred in people recovering from COVID-19. Which means that some of the lives that have been saved from COVID-19 are now threatened by this serious but treatable fungal infection. Under normal circumstances, cases of mucormycosis are relatively rare because most people with healthy immune system can easily fight off the infection. Before the pandemic, only people with specific malignancies and patients with poorly controlled diabetes were at a higher risk for this fungal infection. Today, COVID-19 poses an additional threat for the development of mucormycosis. So why does it affect COVID-19 patients? So let us look at the association between COVID-19 and mucormycosis. In patients with severe COVID-19 infection, the virus triggers a cytokine storm, which is basically a hyperactive immune response. This cytokine storm can cause severe damage to the host cells in the body. To tackle this, patients who are hospitalized for COVID-19 are often treated with high doses of corticosteroids and drugs like tocilizumab that also suppresses the immune system. This makes the patients more vulnerable to opportunistic fungal infections like mucormycosis. It is also observed that patients with diabetes are more likely to have severe COVID-19 symptoms which may warrant hospitalization. These patients who are already at a higher risk for mucormycosis now have an even higher risk of developing this fungal infection because of their COVID-19. Fungi are able to thrive in the body when the blood sugar level is high and the use of corticosteroids makes it harder to control blood sugar. The combination of diabetes, COVID-19 and use of immunosuppressant treatment is what makes recovering diabetic patients particularly susceptible to mucormycosis. So what are the risk factors for developing this infection? Mainly, it is reported in patients with poorly controlled diabetes who were on corticosteroids or tocilizumab. However, it should not be neglected in patients who were critically ill, especially those admitted to intensive care units or ICU and those who required mechanical ventilation. Other patients who are more likely to develop this fungal infection are those with an underlying lung pathology or hematological malignancy, patients who have been on a long-term immunosuppressive therapy, and those with conditions causing an immunocompromised state like AIDS or organ transplantation. Coming to the warning signs and symptoms of mucormycosis. The most common clinical presentation of mucormycosis is rhinocerebral infection which starts from the sinuses and moves very fast to the nasal passages, to the orbit, to the oral cavity and the brain. The signs and symptoms that you have to look out for could be similar to complicated sinusitis such as nasal congestion, pain or blackish nasal or sinus discharge, facial pain and swelling, usually unilateral, pain, redness and swelling around the eyes, altered or loss of vision. In the oral cavity, you may observe tissue necrosis and black scar, mostly involving the palate, 
or exposure of the bone in the oral cavity. These symptoms may be accompanied with fever and headache. If the infection has spread to the brain, it may cause lethargy, seizures, slurred speech, partial paralysis, brain abscess, altered consciousness and even coma. So be aware of these signs and symptoms, especially in patients at risk for developing mucormycosis because early diagnosis is what will keep the patient alive. So if you have any patients with the signs and symptoms that we have already discussed, make sure that you take a proper medical history. Ask them about the exposure to COVID infection, medications given to tackle it, associated comorbidities like diabetes, if the patient gives a positive history, don't hesitate to refer them to a specialist like an ENT surgeon or a maxillofacial surgeon and advise proper investigations. Investigations generally include a biopsy of the affected area which is sent for histopathological examination. A CT scan of the affected part can also help in coming up with a conclusive diagnosis. Mucormycosis is a very aggressive infection and the mortality rates are very high. So early diagnosis will only provide a better outcome. The treatment for uh, mucormycosis generally involves uh, antifungal medications given intravenously or orally coupled with surgery to remove the infected tissue. In addition, reversal of the underlying predisposing risk factors and systemic disorders is also a must. This can help prevent serious consequences and save a patient's life. With this, we come to an end. Mucormycosis is a serious infection and it is increasing rapidly in patients recovering or already recovered from COVID. So be vigilant and don't ignore the symptoms. If a patient comes to you with the warning signs, Make sure that you take a detailed medical history and if the patient has any of the predisposing factors, don't hesitate to advise a CT scan or biopsy and refer the patient to the concerned specialist.